Hi, I'm Teresa with Celebration Elevation, and today we're going to be making these really pretty Valentine topiaries. We're going to be using crepe paper and items I found at the Dollar Tree, and it's very easy, and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so we're going to get started on making this Valentine's topiary. It's really cute, and it's easy to make, but I have to warn you, it is tedious. So if you're one of those people who likes instant gratification in their crafts, this is totally not for you. <laughs> but I will show you how easy it is. And I got started already on it. Um, and I'm just going to show you what we have started. And then we will. I will show you how to actually do it. So here is the topiary so far. And you can see it's on the styrofoam ball. We have it on the little piece of um, floral foam. And then I was going to have a dowel for the middle, for the little stem. And my son was going to pick one up for me, but I didn't want to wait. And all of a sudden I realized I could use a pencil. And so I think we'll paint the pencil. We'll use that. You don't even have to get a dowel. So what I did was I started with a, just a regular styrofoam ball. I painted it pink. This one happens to be pink macaroon and it's um, Magic Fly, I think, acrylic paint. It's just any, any brand of acrylic paint and I'm doing pink. So I bought some pink streamers at the Party City and now I'm going to show you how to do this. So I actually have it just in the in the craft foam, the floral foam right now, so that I can work on it. And then you're going to need your glue gun. So what you want to do is you want to take your um, crepe paper streamers. You're going to make a, you're going to make strips out of them. I used 24 inches. I tried it with a little bit less, and the the little um, flora, the little rosettes, I guess. The little rosettes weren't as um, full. So, 24 inches is the best. And then what you want to do is just kind of pull it out, uh, stretch your crepe paper, and kind of scrunch it up a little bit so it's sort of fluffy. And then what I did is I folded over a little bit at the top, maybe like a third of it. And just so that it has like a nice edge, I found that it looked, it looked prettier with a nice edge than if I just did it with the, just a straight edge. So the folded edge is better. You don't have to have it perfect. It's not a big deal. So then what you're going to do, you're going to take your um, crepe paper and you're just going to start kind of rolling it like this. And then you want to pinch the bottom part off right here. So pinching the bottom part and rolling it. And as you're rolling it, you want to kind of let the, what am I saying, the, like the bud part of it. You want to not roll it too tight so that it actually looks like a flower. And you can see it starts to look more and more like a flower. And, and then I just keep pushing the middle back down because it kind of goes up when I'm turning it. So I just keep pushing the middle. So you can see it's, it's turning into a little florette. What do, you, what do you call that? Rosette. Florette. <laughs> I think it's a rosette. So it's a little rosette. Um, you can use whatever colors you want, obviously. I'm making this for Valentine's Day decoration, but you could do this for Mother's Day or any day. And you could do it whatever colors you want. You could do it in red or white or purple, whatever you like. Um, so I'm just doing the pink. and. I just painted the ball, the styrofoam ball, pink just so that the places where maybe you can see through it, it's not going to look like stark white back there. So that's why I did that. Um, but I mean, it's probably an unnecessary step, but I don't know. So now see, I have my little rosette. I'm just kind of tucking it back. And then I just take the glue gun and I give it. Where's my glue gun? Um, I give it a little glue at the end just to seal it off so it doesn't pop back open. And then I'm going to just take some glue, put it right, you're going to kind of 
Um, butt them up next to each other. Is that what you say? Butt them up? <laughs> so it's kind of weird now. But you put them right next to each other like this. And then hold it for a couple seconds so that your glue holds it in place and it doesn't take long. And then there you go. Then you have another one. So you're just going to keep doing that. We're going to keep doing that and stacking them up. What we're going to do after is we're going to cut the floral foam down. And I found, by the way, okay, I got the floral foam. I got these little pots at the dollar store. I got styrofoam balls at the dollar store. Um, and I'm sure you could probably find crepe paper. I happen to have some that I've gotten from Party City, so, but you could probably find some of that at the dollar store as well. So this is a really inexpensive project, and we're going to paint this after, and we're going to put some ribbon around it, and it's going to look really cute. But I just wanted to show you in stages, so you can kind of see as we're working on it. So I'm going to do a few more. So I'm going to speed this up. And so you don't have to watch the whole process. And then we'll do sort of a time lapse and let you see when it's finished. You don't have to watch me doing this. This is a perfect project though. If you just want to sit and like watch TV or listen to our podcast, this is a really good project for that because it's very mindless, but it just takes some time. So it's just a little time consuming. So I'm just going to keep going with this. By the way, if you, if you like this, craft if you like this video as i've mentioned before please hit the subscribe button on your screen and subscribe to my youtube channel i really appreciate it my subscribers are growing but at a very snail pace <laughs> Okay, so I'm back. Wanted to show you where I am with this. I'm almost at the very end. I have to tell you though, it did take a very long time to do this. One thing I could have done is I used a four inch styrofoam ball. You could use like a three inch styrofoam ball. That would take a little bit less time. But I think this is gonna be a really pretty size for a topiary. Um, but I kind of streamlined my little process here. I just scrunch up the whole piece of crepe paper. This is the 24 inch piece. And then I just, as I was going along, I pull it as I fold the th third of it down and just kind of pull it as I go along. And then, and then I just sort of, just started, um, twisting it like I had shown before. Um, but I'm not being as careful because I kind of just fix it at the very end. So I'm just twisting, twisting, twisting. But I was thinking about this decoration. Um, this is what I thought would be really cute as a Valentine's Day decoration or a Valentine's Day gift for someone. Like your, or even like Mother's Day gift, birthday gift. I think I mentioned that before. But I was also thinking these would make really cute centerpieces for like a baby shower or a bridal shower. But you could use them for any of those um, decorations. I think they would be, it would be really pretty for any of those things. And I know this takes a little um, time. And then I'm just taking the end of it like this and just gluing the end of it down. And then what I do is just sort of flatten it a little bit and then twist at the bottom. So twisting it there, and then I just make a little pool of the glue from the glue gun right on the styrofoam, and then just kind of pack them in. You want them to touch the ones next to them, so that's what gets them that nice tight look to it. And it's gonna go on this here. Um, the rest of the styrofoam ball was painted pink. The very bottom, I didn't paint because I knew you wouldn't be able to see anything underneath that anyway. Uh, but I also have a hack for this and I will show you that in just one second. So here, here's something else you could do if you don't want to make them like this but you do want to make them. These are little foam flowers from the dollar store. And you could also do a very similar style using the foam flowers and gluing those on your little styrofoam balls. So I'll do one of those and show you that at the end because that will take a lot less time. But this is really pretty. 
So with this one, we're, now what we're gonna do is I wanna make this foam so that it fits on the styrofoam. Um, I'm sorry, so it fits inside this little uh, cup. Not cup, pot, little flower pot, okay. So, so what I wanna do is I wanna make it the same size as the bottom because it's gonna go in here and sit in the bottom. So I'm just gonna draw around here just so I have the size of my flower pot. And then we will cut it out. So now I drew the uh, flower pot size around here and I'm just taking an exacto knife. I think this should work. And I'm just gonna cut through this. <laughs> I think it should be okay. So I'll cut this off of the edge here. gonna work and then this will go in the flower pot also I'm gonna paint the flower pot um, but I just want to show you with the um, the foam this is just floral foam from the dollar store see okay so then we'll I'm just gonna take the hot glue and glue it in here and then that's where the pencil or your dowel is going to come in. I'm going to paint this as well. Also, I just wanted to show you, I know I've shown this before on a video, but this is what I do for my glue gun. I always use the centerpiece of a mason jar lid, and then this just becomes all dry, and then you just take it off and you can continue using it. But that's what it drips onto while I'm working on whatever project it may be. So I am going to get the paint ready and then I will show you exactly what we're gonna do with the paint. second topiary and this is the one where I'm using the foam flowers that were purchased um, from the Dollar Tree and so this one was much faster <laughs> um, but I don't know I really like the look of the pink one I like the way it looks with the um, crepe paper you could also use tissue paper but you'd have to cut it into I would say about two inch um, wide strips and you know the crepe paper is nice because it just comes in exactly the right width so I used four bags of these little foam roses and um, from the dollar store and each of those had 18 in them and then like I said, I'm just, oh, I'm just gluing these in here. There. Okay. That looks really, that looks really cute too. You could, some more ideas for these. So you could put that, you could do a few different sizes. Oh, I have one left. Shoot, where did the hole go? <laughs> like, I glued right over where I had the, 
the place for the pencil to go in. Uh, but, okay, well, this is a good example. I was just gonna tell you. So, um, you could use these for, uh, like, to do a different couple different sizes, different colors, and put them in a bowl, like, on the center of your table, which I think would look really pretty. Or you could attach, like, some ribbon and hang them, which would be really pretty as well. So, I just took the, I did the foam the same way I did the first one, the floral foam. I just cut it out. I glued it in here. Oh, shoot. And I, <laughs> let's do something like this. I want one of my videos to just be perfect. Now I touched this while my hands, while it was still wet. But I painted the, um, shoot. <laughs> I painted the second pencil, this one, um, spring green um from the same company which is the magic fly so anyway so i put i just glued the foam in here i glued the pencil in here i painted it well i after i glued it in here because then it's nice you don't have to hold it or anything although you could hold it when it's wet like i just did but then i'm going to just make a poke a hole i think i will just use a pen poke a hole in here because I can't find where I, where I poked the first hole with the pencil. Um, and then I'm just gonna put a little bit of the, the glue gun on here. And then, seriously, did I like lose the hole again for this? I cannot believe, okay, there it is. <laughs> okay. All right, okay, perfect. So. And I didn't paint this one. You can, you know, like this one I painted pink, which I think is cute. And then I put the Spanish moss in there. And so I'm gonna do the same thing on this one. I'm gonna put some more Spanish moss in here. And um, I just love these. This is my favorite thing I think I've made so far on these videos. I think these are so pretty. And they could just be used for so many different occasions, so many different a ways to decorate. I like to do this kind of stuff. I like to go the extra distance on um, decorating for things for different occasions and that's the whole that's the whole concept of the celebration elevation is just taking your normal celebration stuff and just going a little bit further with it making a little extra effort for you know if you're for whoever you're giving it for. Like, for instance, if you're doing a baby shower for your sister or your cousin, and they see that you've, like, gone to the trouble of making all these little decorations for the tables or whatever it may be, I think it means so much more, you know? And I think people underestimate how much something like that means to people, that little extra effort. And... I mean, I, I always think it means more. And I feel that from people when I do that. I feel like they appreciate that I've gone to that extra little bit of um, effort. So anyway, then I found this ribbon at Dollar Tree as well, lace ribbon. So I was just gonna take a piece and glue it around the edge of the flower pot, just up here for this topiary. And I think that would look really cute. You could tie a bow around, you know, with some ribbon, tie a bow around here. I think they turn out really cute. So if you like these, <laughs> if you liked my video, as I've mentioned before, please hit subscribe and click the little button. Um, click the little thumbs up if you liked it. I would really appreciate it. I um, have kind of done my my goals for 2022 now. And I would really like to get more subscribers on my YouTube channel. That's one of my goals. I wanna continue making good content for you. I have so many fun things planned already for some more decorations for Valentine's Day, and I'm really excited to show you them. So I was gonna do more than one decoration for this video, but this turned out to be kind of a lot, this one, <laughs> this one topiary. But see, there we go. I mean, this is what it looks like. I think it's super cute. This one as well. 
So I hope you enjoyed this, um, and I will see you very soon. Thanks. Bye.